Welcome to the all new CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. Hopefully you're having a happy Wednesday. Teresa, how's everything? In... No complaints. Yeah. The weather's getting good. We're having a nice time. We yeah. have a fan of the day. We do have a fan of the day. We <laughs> want to give her a little shout out. It's uh, Miss Sylvia Flynn from Durham, Connecticut. And last week uh, I went to Pittsburgh and asked right. people around there what they thought about uh, the great state of Connecticut. And, and she had a similar experience. Oh, you ran into her. Well, no, she, she wrote on Facebook, okay. she said, I guess, one time she was traveling out west, and she mentioned that she was from Connecticut, and somebody asked, what state is that in? Come on. And that's what she said. That's poor geography. Yeah, something like that, I guess. All right. Well, this is kind of fun, moving right along here. Is your bathroom in need of some sprucing up? Well, our friends at Bender are giving away a brand new vanity to one lucky winner. Mm, How yes. fun is that? Very cool. It's all part of <laughs> Win It Wednesdays. The vanity can be made anywhere from 24 to 48 inches, and it comes with a nice granite countertop and the cabinet doors to fit your style. Ooh. It can range anywhere from a little over $600 to $1,300. So all you have to do is go to WTNH.com slash contests. The CT Style team and Bender will sort through the photos and pick the person most deserving of a bathroom transformation. I have a hunch we're going to get some real doozies with that we, one, right? We have. I've, I've seen some of them yeah. already. So, okay. so make sure that you guys keep sending those in. We want to see uh, your dirty bathroom, I guess. That's, that's what it... Well, <laughs> Yeah, that's what it comes down to. I guess, hey, speaking of, uh, of, of being lucky, lucky mm -hmm. winners, uh, we recently uh, made an amazing find in Arkansas. Well, not us, but this, this lady did. Her name is Susie Clark. She was visiting a creator of Diamonds State Park last week when she found a nearly four-carat white diamond. All right, I have to tell you, I've been to Murfreesboro, Arkansas, and I've hunted for diamonds at this state have park. Have you really? I really have. I spent some time in Louisiana. It was yes. my first TV job. Yeah. And all the people at the station went to the state park to try and find to, diamonds to so maybe we would get out of the news biz or something and none no of luck. us found any diamonds but it's kind of a cool experience you go there and you get all the equipment and like we're all dressed in overalls we like put costumes on like we're That's real what miners I, I, I need to see we Teresa. had to get into it and you like just go and you dig and you really? sh you get one of those things where you shake all the the dirt off and a there's shaker, water yeah. and it's like a big process. It's like a mining thing. But it, what's it, odd is that people have turned it into their jobs. So there's certain people that show up at this uh, they're there state every park. Day. They're, they're like there every day searching for diamonds. Diamond miners. <laughs> yes. have, ha have you seen that, that show, uh, Gold Rush, <laughs> where, where they do it for the gold? No, oh, but it's probably the same idea there. But anyway, That's this crazy. woman found a huge carrot, a huge diamond. Uh, it was four carats, $75,000. Let's try that again. $75,000. $75, ding, ding. They've been found over at the uh, state park there. Kind of fun. I mean, every That's once in a while you hear it in the news that someone finds one of these. I mean, four carrots. Let's let's see. How does that amount to this bad boy? <laughs> it's kind kind of stop close? That. No? Okay. All right. <laughs> But well, it's free, and it's you know it's an entertaining experience. But again, people take it very seriously. Yeah, and I, I guess the best part is that that the the visitors get to actually keep the of diamonds. Of course so, they do. So that's like the best part of it. Hence why everybody's going there. But four carats of of diamond. Good and I don't for, think that was the biggest one they them. found there because I've heard stories uh, about it. Bigger. Murfreesboro, Arkansas. Mm. Next time you're there. We'll have to do a shoot over the summer down there or yeah, something. Yeah, you're not missing too much. <laughs> now, uh, maybe if you're not a diamond miner, but you like to surf, uh, prefer to maintain more of a professional look like our look here on CT Style, <laughs> Quicksilver, uh, they're a surfing company. They have uh, they have you covered. There's a surf design uh, that has a wetsuit that looks like this. Okay, so it's a real suit, and it has a jacket and a shirt and a tie and everything, uh, but it's actually made for surfing. Yeah, it's made out of all that wetsuit material there. It's much easier to catch a few waves and then head straight to your office. But wouldn't you still be wet? You, you would be a little wet going into the meeting, yes. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. But unfortunately, I, I guess we, we can't buy them. Here in America, they're only available in Japan, and I guess it costs a pretty penny. It's well, like... 2500 bucks. I suppose if you just told your wife or whomever you were going to work, you had your suit yeah. on, and there you go. Maybe that's an option. And but. then you show up and you're drenched, and you're like, oh, I just uh, you know, had a little accident at the water cooler, I guess.